What's up YouTube? It's been a while. I decided to carve out some time today for a video, even though I'm a little under the weather, but, and that's a big but, bigger than your mom's, I've noticed that you guys haven't forgot about me, and I appreciate that a lot. Today I thought I'd do something a little more fun and casual while I work on a more presentation heavy project on the side, and talk a bit about what might be my most old guy tech opinion. I recently turned 31 and, you know, your 30s is far from old depending on how you treat it, but with my age bracket growing up prior to the smartphone era, we've also gone through a lot of shifts in the paradigm, so to speak. I grew up emailing my friends, then instant messaging came around, soon after that cell phones really popped off, and then came social media and a smartphone. I genuinely feel lucky to be born in the early 90s because I was able to witness so many shifts in technological culture in rapid succession. They didn't feel rapid to a child like me since I can kind of clearly delineate at least four cultural micro eras within the 2000s, which each felt like a separate decade to me rather than just a year or two each. But nonetheless, the changes were so quick prior to about 2012 and it was always so exciting. But digression aside, as one ages and develops habits, there are certain new things that tend to bother you. Some people get frustrated by new slang, new fashion, new music, and new technologies. This is purely subjective and flawed in certain ways, but that's okay, because we all have opinions. My most significant frustration is web apps. Web apps aren't even new anymore, but they're frustrating altogether for the way that I work. Not in every way, but in a few important convenience ways. Let's start with a couple awesome things about web apps. First, they're less intrusive to update than local software. I'm not really bothered by software updates because they don't, don't really take long anymore and most software makes it straightforward. But with web apps, you never have to think about it and that's pretty cool. You'll just suddenly have elements move around and change behavior at unexpected times and you'll have to find them all over again. Not the biggest deal though, probably worth the trade-off, I don't know. They also have great collaboration and some protection from user error. Thanks to autosave, real-time collaboration and things like that, working on files alongside other people becomes far less linear and more dynamic, and I think that's good. And of course, autosave saves a lot of people's butts, I'm sure. So with my recognition of the good of web apps out of the way, so our brilliant little internet critics with bad opinions and a need to feel smarter than everyone are appeased, here are a couple things I hate about them. Very simply, I hate having everything in my browser. It's a waste of space to have the browser around the app uh, interface, and sometimes it's annoying to task switch. I don't want to get too heavily into that, so I won't for now, but it is annoying to task switch, alt tab, things like that, depending on the implementation and the app and how the browser handles things and whatnot. And I'm sure I'm not the only one that that bothers. Even if I install the website as an app and use the smaller browser interface, every so often something screws up and I have to set that up all over again and it's a pain. Secondly, certain low level tasks often aren't that quick. This is mostly the case in work environments, I assume, that are running from servers and things like that and have a lot of security. But things as simple as copying a file tends to be slow. It might be something about the protocol of initiating the task on the server side or something. I don't know. I'm not a developer, but it's far worse than dealing with local files. Part of that is due to the next point. The most important thing that drives me insane is the hotkeys. Most of the web apps that I use are the office suite at work. And due to some features and our reliance on SharePoint, I don't have the choice not to use them for a lot of tasks. What I hate the most is that web apps have such limited hotkeys. And for the ones that do exist, they can't be the same as they are in the desktop version of the apps because they'll interfere with the browser's hotkeys which you don't have to worry about with local software. I really don't know what would be the right approach to make hotkeys not suck on web apps and bring them to kind of a common point with desktop software, but this angers me every single day. All in all, web apps have some really strong upsides and some really infuriating downsides. In the end, I'm a bigger fan of dedicated software in a lot of ways. I'm not against learning something new, but not even having a replacement for certain vital hotkeys is the single most frustrating thing for anyone who does digital work semi-efficiently. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one too. And feel free to show the channel some love with a little slap of that subscribe button.